Well, we are well into mango season, and we have finally gotten Beth over to taste some mangoes. And the two that I've been very eager to taste, well, we have this small one, uh, which I'm is not named. It's just got a location mark on the these two mangoes, same variety. And this one is also brand new this year, unnamed variety. Hey. Have no idea. It looks pretty, um, but of course the taste is the most important thing. So I'm hoping that that's going to be a good one. Well, every mango I have had this year, and I have had many, are so delicious. I feel like something has happened in the soil or the weather or whatever it is, just the flavors are so bold and rich and perfect. It's like whatever it's supposed to taste like, it's just an, an amazingly exaggerated perfection of that flavor. So thank you for <laughs> everything you do all year to create such deliciousness because we love it, don't we? In the middle of the night, we run through the <laughs> grove with a magic wand. That's a, that's the secret. Yes, that's what I was telling somebody that you did. <laughs> okay, so yep, we're going to start excited. with smaller mango. It's a uh, smaller mango. And where is this one located? Uh, this is uh, N C A C E. <laughs> exact designation. De uh, or uh, there we go. Is it near the mound or? No, this is uh, near the driveway. Oh. Uh, so. Mmm, it smells good. Go ahead. <laughs> it's very floral. No, like the teeniest bit of fiber, but in a positive way. Mmm. It definitely tastes familiar, but I can't tell you what it tastes like because they're all kind of a muddle in my brain. And as you know, I am a fickle mango lover. So the fact that it's sweet, juicy, and in my hand, <laughs> but it's really good. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I've um, mm. actually eaten some fallen ones of these mm -hmm. and I have gotten sort of addicted to them. Ah, <laughs> what does it remind you of? switching the interview <laughs> I don't know I, I you know it, it tastes there's a, a very rich flavor of um, I mean you've got mango but you've got another fruit in there too hmm. and then I it has to me what I'm thinking is maybe a hint of caramel in it caramel. Uh, just you know very uh, very small amount but you know it's like just got that that type of sweetness in part of the flavor I thought when I said, what is it? I thought you were going to describe like what other mango it tastes like. <laughs> um, I will tell you, I don't taste coconut because I know that's like a big thing that people say that mangoes have a strong coconut flavor that I don't taste. Caramel, I'm not sure I would, I could find that. It's only part of the flavor. Do you like it? Oh yes, you're addicted to it. <laughs> she said. See, caramel. No. It's, it's like maybe a 5% of the flavor or less. I, okay. I can see why you would taste, why you would say that. There is this full mouth sweetness, but that's not how I would, I've never thought of a mango as tasting like with a caramel. So I wouldn't use that word, but. There is a lot of flavor and it lingers mm -hmm. and the sweetness lingers. It is really good. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a keeper. <laughs> okay. So by the driveway, interesting. So does that mean that between all of your trees that you know that or you grew yourself, that it sprouted up from a seed, or no. did this just appear on another tree? No, it, it, what I often do is uh, I will sprout out an interesting seed and then grow it until it, it's, it's uh, mature enough to uh, yield a scion, get the scion mm. from that, and then graft it onto a tree that's in the ground. 
That's, so. And what um, is an interesting seed to you? Well, if I have a, a fruit that is very different from the other ones that I like a lot or whatever, then I, um, I will sometimes plant a seed. Hmm. Uh, so Fascinating. that's uh, probably from 2015. That, that is, really? Yeah. Wow. So then we have this one, which... It's beautiful. Uh, I have... And what, you know, it's, it's the first year for this. Uh, I, there are, were four fruit on the tree, and this one I picked a little while ago, a few days ago, figuring it would ripen for this very occasion. <laughs> And so this is, I have no idea, it, since it's like unusual looking, beautiful, I'm hoping for tasty also, but. And where's this one? It's in the, um, see? BF back. No, bucket. <laughs> what does that mean? Back fence. Oh. And then it's, uh, it, you know, it just is buck, not bucket, but um, that, the fruit were so heavy they were going to hit the ground so I put a rather large bucket underneath to prop up the branch so that's how I know I mean I think I would have recognized the shape anyway but I thought well I'll just make this a little bit easier for myself I think it's so exciting when you um, grow discover whatever the right word is new fruit new mangoes I'm Ooh. not sure if this is completely ripe or not. It seemed a little bit firm, but we will see. Do you want to bring it over to sh have her take a closer? <laughs> well, I guess we can, can do that. Uh, so, you've already taken the bite. I did. I snuck it, it in. Is it underripe? It seems like it, I mean, it's cutting like it's up underripe. So it has some ar some orange, like it has a little bit of an orange flavor. It doesn't have a strong flavor. I don't because I've never had it before. I don't know how to say if it's underripe. Yeah, well, it's from the outside. I thought it looked like it could be perfect, but it is. I would say mm. two days two days at least underripe. I just tasted the tart. If you if you taste the the middle part, then it's you don't taste the tart, but the paler part mm -hmm. um, has a little bit of fiber. Yes, it has a little bit of fiber. It's not a strong flavor, but could that be because of ripeness? Yeah, that, um, that it's not completely. Yeah. Could How be. many fruits like this were on the tree? Oh, you said four. This was the biggest one, but yeah, there's three others. I just hate to say any mango is not good. You know, it's not not good. It's not a strong flavor. It's a little watery, but that could all be because it's not ripe. Hey, Rue, do you want? Yeah, she's not a big fan. Oh, she's not? She's like, okay, you hold you it go. for me and then I'll <laughs> drop it for you. <laughs> You're not like your sisters, huh? Lick my fingers, thank you. So what do you think? I have a little bit of the bottom because the bottom's right, um, riper. When you say, like, oh, you mean like cut it like this? Uh, we know who's in charge here. Okay, this one's better. Thank you. Mmm, thank you. So, I, I it, it, it's this still, is better. <laughs> it's better, but it still doesn't have a strong flavor. Mm -hmm. It's still a little watery. I think it deserves a second chance. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, you know, it's a shame that it didn't ripen all the way because I felt like uh, it might be right, but I had no experience with this fruit. So uh, perhaps one of the other three, uh, the three remaining fruit, hopefully, uh, will. Because it's beautiful. It's a different experience, but yeah. So beautiful. I mean, really, the, the shape is unique. And thank you so much for letting me taste these. Well, thanks for doing that. It's uh, always 
fun to taste new varieties, and this one unfortunately wasn't at its peak ripeness, so uh, well, live to taste another day on that one. This was worth the trip, and the mangoes this year, Chris, I just have to say, have been amazing and wonderful, so thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for waving your magic wand. <laughs>